All right, this is Daryl Lawson Live coming to you from Southern California here. It's already February 19, 2017. This is Daryl Lawson Live. I'm here three times a day, Monday through Friday, uh, twice on Facebook Live and a YouTube recap. Yeah, DarylLawson.com is all my social media. Uh, Facebook pages, Twitter, Google+, Instagram, YouTube channel. Uh, I have 1,454 videos that I've done personally on my YouTube channel. Uh, check it all out, subscribe, and I will see you online. Yeah, uh, listen, a, a quick... An amazing <clears throat> happening yesterday. I've never seen this before. A quick video here. Yesterday, I almost fell off the sofa. <laughs> I almost fell off the chair uh, when I saw the Melania Trump, the Lord's Prayer, yesterday in Florida. Do you see that? Here. I mean, how could you miss it? Uh, Fox News. Uh, AOL News, Newsmag, Melania opens President Trump's campaign rally with Lord's Prayer. With what? With the Lord's Prayer? Another one, Newsmax. First Lady Melania kicks off Trump's Florida rally with Lord's Prayer. What? Uh, all over Twitter, Dinesh D'Souza, Melania Trump's uh, recital of the Lord's Prayer is the most in-your-face act by, the, by any First Lady. And it has left the other side sputtering. What? Fox News on Twitter. Yesterday's Trump rally. Flotus. Oh, it kind of sounds like a flower, right? First Lady. Opened her remarks with the Lord's Prayer. Oh, wow. Uh, Franklin Graham on Twitter. In Melbourne, Florida today. First Lady. This was from yesterday. Uh, Melania Trump read the Lord's Prayer before introducing her husband. Hello. <laughs> now, if you haven't seen that. I'm going, what? What's going on? Wow. I mean, I, if last time I checked, I never seen uh, uh, Michelle Obama, a.k.a. Michael Obama, do anything like this. <laughs> when Michelle opens her mouth, it's usually to complain or criticize <clears throat> or, uh, <laughs> or or take a vacation or eat some cake. Yeah. <laughs> I, I thought, wow, that took a lot of guts, really. I'm going to open one of these stories right here. I'm going to read this from yesterday. Let me pull up the, uh, well, I'll, I'll pull up the Newsmax story here. I mean, I'm telling you, we go from we go from night, the Antichrist in the White House, to day, uh, Trump in the White House. That's got nothing, nothing to do with skin color. Skin color has nothing to do with this. It has to do with the heart. It has to do with people that are demon-possessed and people that aren't demon-possessed. Now, you're not going to hear that on the news, but uh, this is what it is, all right? <clears throat> wow. First Lady Melania... Kicks off Trump's Florida rally with Lord's Prayer. Now, you, if you haven't seen it, just go and type that in any video, uh, Google, Twitter, uh, uh, anywhere. It, it'll be playing on, on, on the web, everywhere. I mean, she has her thick accent, right? And it's so lovely to hear someone do the Lord's Prayer. As not only just generally speaking, but First Lady, I've, I, I've never heard, I've never seen that before. I agree with Dinesh D'Souza. What? <laughs> U.S. President Trump listens to his wife. First Lady Melania Trump recite the Lord's Prayer during a rally in Melbourne, Florida yesterday. Saturday, February 18th, right? First Lady Melania Trump opened her husband's rally in Florida on Saturday with the Lord's Prayer and a promise to pursue initiatives for women and children around the world. Well, I'm telling you, she's already doing that. By her doing the Lord's Prayer has just uh, already... Helping women and children around the world. What? No Jesus. <laughs> you were born, Esther. You were born, I say, Esther, for a time like this. Oh, yeah. She, she's the modern day Esther. Oh, beautiful on the outside and the inside. She also said she would always stay true to herself and be truthful to the people. Oh, well, that's a breath of fresh air. Malani, who lives in New York, away from her husband because her kid's going to school. As their son Baron finishes the school year, has been, well, you know, it's called planes and helicopters, no big deal, yeah. <laughs> has been by the president's side of many events throughout the first, uh, throughout his first first month in Washington. She was in Washington, D.C. last week for the first time as a host to help President Trump welcome uh, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and was also in Palm Beach, Florida when Trump hosted Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe uh, the week before. Is it Abe or is it Abe? Uh, whatever. Uh, quote, I'm committed, she said, to creating and supporting initiatives dear to my heart, which will have impact on women and children around the world. Oh, you know, the Bible says that a, uh, a, uh, 
a woman that doesn't have any morals is like having a a, 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 a jewel in its snout, a pig with a jewel in its nose. <laughs> well, that ain't Melania, all right? No, she ain't that. She's an Esther. <laughs> she also said uh, her husband is creating a country of, of great safety and prosperity. She said, I'm committed to creating and supporting initiatives dear to my heart. Dear to my heart? Oh, you know, the Bible says out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Yeah. So for a first lady to recite the Lord's Prayer, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins. We forgive those sinned against us. Lead us not into temptation. Deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. I mean, what? That's a, that's an all-inclusive prayer. I usually do. I'm I'm just I'm going to do this video right here, and then I'm going to go do a uh, Facebook live. I usually do Facebook live first on Sunday mornings, uh, but I got I had to do this. I had to do this one first on YouTube because it's just so amazing. I wanted to ha put it in uh, in perspective here on YouTube. Listen, it, it, it is it is it is unprecedented. I, I've never seen who who's ever done this. And one of the first things for her to do is get up there. And when she also has the heavy, thick accent, most people would say, "Now nah, I'm not going to say that." I, you know, no. Wow, the righteous are as bold as a lion in your face. You know, they say behind every great man is a great woman. Well, that's the case right here. This is the case right here. Uh, Donald Trump has been appointed to be the president of the USA. He's been handpicked by Jesus himself. What like it or lump it. Uh, and and uh, I keep on referring to Revelation chapter thirteen, uh, verses three. We can, which basically the whole chapter one to three and the whole chapter of Revelation thirteen, it talks about in the last days <clears throat> that the Antichrist would come in as president, and then he would leave office for a short time. Ooh, yeah, and somebody would kick him out. Somebody would come in uh, and kick out the Antichrist out of the U.S. presidency. That's what the Bible says in Revelation thirteen, verse three. That the Antichrist would lose power. I saw one of the heads of the beast wounded to death. So God would pick somebody to come in and kick one of the heads of the beast, the New World Order, uh, in one area of the planet. I mean, give it a beating and, and, and throw the Antichrist out of office for a short period of time. And this is what we're seeing right here. This is prophecy being fulfilled before our very eyes. And I'm telling you, what did we expect? What did we expect a president that was brought in to kick out the Antichrist wife to do? Oh, man, the Lord's Prayer, of course. Pray the Lord's Prayer. Now, everybody was talking about Obama being a Muslim because he was a Muslim. He was trained as a communist, as a Muslim. Uh, Daryl, don't you like Muslims? Did I say I didn't like Muslims? I'm just saying what it is. I'm saying what I'm saying. <laughs> Obama is the Antichrist, and he happens to be Muslim. Oh, like it or lump it, all right? He wears a ring that has there is no God but Allah on. You know, uh, he's always lifting up Islam and putting down Christianity. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out who Obama is. And people will just be honest with themselves and look and say, hey, yeah, duh, eight years of a Muslim president. Barack Hussein Obama. Uh, uh, hello, is that a clue? Oh, yeah. Even though he had gone for years as his other name, a.k.a. Barry Satoro. But he went in to be the closing picture to try to destroy this, this, this country. Yeah. But the prophecies have to be fulfilled in the scriptures. And so the Antichrist was kicked out. Oh, why? Because before the rapture, the great resistance would happen. I'm serious. The great resistance was prophesied in the Bible, spoken of to come just before uh, uh, the rapture. The rapture would take place at the uh, greatest resistance in the last times. Oh, against the Antichrist system. Yeah. The, watch my videos on that. I have thousands of videos, and I talk about this like daily. But uh, because I saw the uh, uh, first lady pray the Lord's prayer, I thought, "What are we not in the last days? Are we not seeing miracles coming out of the mouth of the first lady?" Yeah, what do they call her? Flotus. It's kind of like a flower, like a lotus. He's a flotus. <laughs> What did Muhammad Ali say? Uh, uh, float like a b b butterfly, sting like a bee. Boom! In your face. But speaking about Muslims, his name, Muhammad Ali, used to be Cassius Clay, by the way. Yeah. Anyway, that's another story. But uh, Flotus. Yeah. Lotus the Flotus. Yeah. Uh, anyways, I, I think it's amazing. She uh, definitely uh, 
uh, told the whole world where she stands. She said, hey, this is where I stand. I stand right here. I stand in the Lord. It's really amazing because uh, most people, if they had her beauty and her wealth and her, uh, her, and her uh, fame, would go nuts, but would go AWOL. Most women would, and men would go nuts and go AWOL. It's nice to see someone that can ha can handle the, that money, that wealth, that fame, that fortune, and that beauty. Yeah, that, that, that's got to be Jesus. Oh, that's got to be Jesus. Yeah, <clears throat> you can't have self-control without Jesus. Every good and perfect gift comes down from above. The Father, Jesus, the Holy Spirit. So, <clears throat> excuse me, the, the proof is in the pudding. Yeah, so the fact that she can stand up there uh, and that it's not an idol to her. Her her beauty is not an idol. <clears throat> her wealth is not an idol. Her position is not an idol. She can still bow her knee to to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. In your face, devil! In your face, New World Order. This is the this is the this is the nightmare of the New World Order. This is the nightmare of the Vatican. The Vatican cannot stand uh, this this first family. The Vatican runs the New World Order by fallen angels, and they can't. They 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 they're just freaked out. The secret societies are freaked out. The New World Order is freaked out. Why? <clears throat> because they can't control someone that bows their knee to Jesus. Oh, I thought the Roman Catholic Church, I thought the Vatican was Christian. You thought wrong, Bob. Oh, yeah, they throw scriptures in there. They throw uh, a form of godliness, but deny the power thereof from such turn away, the Bible says. Yeah, run that you do not partake in her sins nor of her plagues. Ooh, the Bible says, yeah. Anyway, so it's it's it. This is the this is the new world order nightmare. Uh, for her to come up there and the whole world watching this, every Muslim country, every Buddhist, every Hindu, every atheist, every communist, etc., etc., they're, they're listening to the first lady uh, recite and pray the Lord's prayer. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory. For, this is the prayer that Jesus taught the world to pray. Notice that she didn't stand up there praying the Hail Mary. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> she was glorifying Jesus. It's, it's so refreshing to see before the next rapture some uh, wonderful lady glorify Jesus. The first lady glorifying Jesus. Yeah, not glorifying Islam, not glorifying some religion, glorifying Jesus. Yeah, and that's what she did. And I'm telling you, when she said, you know, I'd like to do and pursue initiatives for women and children around the world. Oh, in your face. She has just done that in reciting the Lord's Prayer. It's amazing, yeah. <clears throat> she says, I'm committed to creating and supporting initiatives dear to my heart. Well, hallelujah. Because Jesus lives in her heart. She wouldn't do that. She wouldn't do that. No, people would be too embarrassed. If Jesus didn't live in her heart, she'd be too embarrassed to do that in front of the whole world. What? I'm introducing, you're introducing the president. You could have talked about the weather. You could have talked about <clears throat> the ride over here. You could have cracked a joke. Hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna pray the Lord's prayer. Oh, she's gonna go down in history as the as probably the greatest. I'm gonna say this because Trump's Trump's going down as the greatest president in U.S. history, probably equal to George Washington, maybe even even more because of the time we're living in the, in 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 the, in the cruciality. Is that a word? In the in the crucial time period we're living in right now. I think it's going to propel Trump to because of what he's doing for not only the U.S. but the nations. For Jesus, he's going to go down at least in my books and probably uh, uh, in history as the greatest U.S. president ever, ever, asa ever. Yeah, and I I'm saying this that uh, Melania 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 Trump is going to go down as the greatest first lady ever in U.S. history. I think yesterday that proved that, and I think that was classy. I think that was powerful. I think that uh, shook the New World Order. And we're seeing the best president and first lady ever in U.S. history right now in front of our face. So stop complaining. <laughs> stop talking about his hair. Uh, stop, stop, just stop, stop whining. I'm, I'm talking to the gen people on the planet. And stop praising Jesus for what you're seeing. Yeah. You know, the children of Israel, when they marched out of, uh, out of Egypt after bondage, that's the same thing we're marching out of right now. We, we, we you know, the, the whole world, and especially the U.S., has, has been marching out of Egypt ever since uh, Obama, Obama uh, lost his power. Uh, we're like the children of Israel marching out of Egypt. Ooh, in, in, in uh, freedom. <clears throat> but don't forget, the children of Israel uh, started to murmur and complain in, in the desert. And uh, they did not go into the promised land. I, said, I tell people, listen, don't.